Hey guys, welcome back. This is the part 7 of uh, lecture number 63 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about limit method in active record queries. So limit method is used to specify the number of records to be retrieved. Okay, so it will not uh, uh, fetch all the records, but uh, you need to specify a number or a limit that how many records you want to fetch from the database and then it will display that number of records if available else it will uh, display only the number of available records if it is less than the limit you set okay for example let's see here here take for the student student dot count we have 21 students in our database now if you apply student dot limit then then it will give you the first 10 limits uh, first 10 students from the database now suppose if you provide the student dot limit 100 then it will give you all 21 students because we only have 21 students so it will not raise any error if you provide the higher limits uh, than available records in your database for that model uh, but it will display all the records if uh, the number of records is less than limit you provided okay and limit also works on uh, where and order query as well for example you can provide uh, let's say student dot order first name and now you can provide limit to this method let's say limit 5 and submit it so this will display only 5 records from this ordered collection okay and limit can also be used with offset keyword offset method as well where offset is to specify the number of records to be scoped before starting to return the records okay it means let's say if you provide a student dot limit 5 and then offset say offset 10 then it will give you a record from the order number ID number 11 let's check it so here you can see it will give you the five records but starting from the 11 it means it is keep the first 10 records and then uh, giving you the limited records okay so this is how we can use limit with offset so this is the very basic uses of uh, limit and offset and you can try this uh, in the very basic and similar way okay and it is also used most frequently and you can find it whenever you start building your own application and you start start working on uh, complex work or implementing complex controllers or models then you might need sometimes the limit query to write to face the restricted number of records or a specific number of records so you need to be get compatible with the limit method as well and if needed you must check the offset as well okay so that's all about this in the next lecture we will discuss about the difference between array methods and the query methods okay so till then thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe